It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we are here for the release of World's Domination 2.0. As you can see, it is evidence that completely new game here. We're getting completely new UI. Everything's amazing. Everything's just really fresh. Now, this is the first time I've ever played it. I'm playing it live with you guys for the first time. I haven't really taken a look at it. We did go over all the changes in an earlier video, so we kind of basically know what's different a little bit. But right here, we're just going to be looking at it fresh, uh, fresh eyes and whatnot. And first off, all I see is a mercenary with a bunch of snipers around it. <laughs> I got my uh, dead shot, got my sharpshooters literally everywhere around it, plus spec ops. Now, right here, this is the new team UI right here. Now, to be honest, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with my thoughts here. Um, just because, I mean, I want to make, I want Proletary to have the best game possible. And from what I've seen, a lot of players are angry. You know, the games, it's a big change. And with big change comes, I mean, it can be annoying because it's something so new, you don't understand it. But for me, I'm going to try to keep an open mind, you know, because I know it'll take time for me to kind of figure out everything and, you know, to get with it. So I'm not going to hate too much just because I don't really understand it. I mean, a lot of, to a lot of these guys, it may be a lot different. Some of uh, complaints might be valid, but we're going to go through it and see what we got. So first off the team page. Now, right here, when I was seeing this, I was kind of worried that it might be kind of difficult to change out your main team because I like seeing a lot of my troops at once. So Maybe one thing I'd like to see is an easier way to like switch because what you do is you'll switch a teammate right here. And I think a good feature would be is to where we can deselect. Here we go. All units. Wait a minute. All right. So we are able to see all our units here. So it's pretty good. But oh, that's interesting. A nice little gold outline there. I like that on Destructor Mark II. Got a full powered Captain Zeta. Ah. All right, guys. But um, one thing I'd like to see is kind of maybe a way you can clear your entire team out. I don't know if that's there or not, but... Maybe be able to clear your whole team out and select them easier. Maybe just make the selecting process a little bit more easier. And then instead of having to just go every single unit one by one and swapping out, I think it'd be better. But um, I like the way it looks. Could be pretty good. But anywho, let's move on to the next tab here. We have train. So here we can train and we can repair some of these things. We have train more people at once. So let's add a unit and see what we can do here. I'm just going to try upgrading a level one unit because I'm not going to spend too many cans right now because I only have 243. Let's just upgrade this guy right here. Let's start training him. And we're using crates to train now. All right. That works for me. I have 14,000 of them. Almost 5, 15,000. So let's take a minute there. And he'll just, you know, train away. And when we get him back, he'll have improved power. So I'm just going to finish him so we can get to see how it looks and whatnot. So let's complete the training. And sweet animation, level 2, plus 5 power, plus 4 health, whatnot, whatnot. And, you know, it's pretty sweet. I kind of like it. Not sure how the upgrade times are going to be because I'm not really that high yet. I just did a level one guy. It took a minute. I'm not sure how the upgrade times upgrade times are going to be. But so far, it looks pretty good. Let's uh, move on to the next one. Research. So this is when we can upgrade perks for our various skills that we have. So if I was to upgrade the solubility, decrease Stimzy's cooldown to 18 seconds. That's actually really nice. So once we start leveling up these perks a lot more, it's going to be really nice to have all these different upgrades. Looks like we can research all these various things. How much is it going to cost me? A thousand cans. I don't even have that much. But there's a new perk system. I think it's going to be nice. Uh, you know, I haven't really tried it out yet, but it looks pretty cool. You know, be able to upgrade our Stimzy and whatnot. Add a little bit more depth to the game. Resources here. This is our new resource collecting stuff. I like the animations. Pretty crazy. But let's add a unit here. Who are we going to send away? Let's send a level one rare guy. That's always the best way to go. Did I just pass them all? I probably did. I'm just flying through. I'm going to send my researcher because I feel like she would bring me some solid stuff. Um, all right, I see how they're doing this. You got to have a level 8 unit to add another one and a level 14 unit. I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to save that. And I'm guessing they're just going to, you know, oh, I see. So the max uh, collect rate is going to be... It's going to end up at 480, getting 52 cans per hour. So that'll be nice. And I can do the same thing for crates. I'll just add another unit here. Just pick another level one guy here. Send on a Desperado and save the changes. And we're going to be kind of something kind of like a collecting, sort of like a gem collector or can collector, whatever you want to call it. Kind of like similar to other games like that. Kind of like Clash where, you know, you got a resource collector and you collect it and it'll give you some stuff. You just kind of send units here. So that's nice. And then the store, nothing too new. I think we have some adjusted prices here adjusted ways we buy stuff 
pictures are missing so that's a bug but hey it's a beta what that's what we're it's not a finished game so it's expected but oh there they are all right there they are we're good now so basically a little bit of a change to the you know way we buy things a little bit i know there's a slight change to certain things but i'm not 100 sure what those are but then we go back to the original world map now personally i wish this was kind of still on the front i don't i'm not really sure about how my I'd, I'd almost rather have the team slot be on the side and have the world up front you know that's just my personal opinion because i mean it's cool to see the whole team and all but it's not really on my number one priority list you could say so i'd almost rather have the defend tab where the team tab is and just kind of move everything down a notch you know what i mean but that's kind of what i'd like to see something like that but defend looks good uh let's see what the guild is talking about all right got some people in here talking a little bit let's see how the world has to say okay well that's not nice we're not going to look at that but anywho let's attack istanbul to get a feel for how everything is going so let's change out this let's bring along legion legion's machine gunner and can i swap out these guys any other way well that's no fun well i'm sure pretty sure my team power is high enough all right, so I'm going to swap out my team here so I can see. Yeah, that's something I'd like to be fixed. That'd be nice. Um, I'm going to bring along like a super powered group here. So I want my Merc. I want my Spec Ops. Wait, I already have them. Okay, Destructor. What's going on? What's going on? All right, this is difficult. What is going on? Am I upgrading it? Yes. All right. So we have that. Maybe we'll swap out my sharpshooter here for a good old machine gunner. Select that. Swap out this sharpshooter for the fire chief. No, no. Let's bring along Scattershot. Let's swap out this sniper for a commando. Select that. Now can we defend Istanbul, please? Research, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I don't want that. All right, I'm unsure of how I feel, but I kind of like it. And then there's some things that I'd like to see changed. But of course, this is the first version, so of course we're gonna have problems, but let's, do I still not have enough power? Maybe I have to like, this is rough. I don't know what's happening. Just let me attack. Yes, my team is too powerful. Okay, where can I attack? I'm just too stacked. What about Manila? You can you gotta let me attack Manila. Are you kidding me? What the heck? I don't like this. The struggle. But hey. It's all good. We'll figure it out somehow. Oh jeez. Okay. I'm going to swap these guys out for level one. You are going to be replaced with a contractor with no power at all. Okay, my team is just too stacked. I'm going to take out you. Swap out you for that. I mean, we don't really need all this firepower. I mean, we got, like, Destructor in here. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my Spec Ops as well. All right, that should let me attack somewhere. Now can I attack, please? How about here? Nope, five over. Nope. 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 I thought there was somewhere I could attack. Nope. All right, time to fix this again. Say goodbye to my Merc. Goodness, the phone. All right. Now, can we attack somewhere? Nope, not going to attack there. Mumbai. Yes. Is this a joke? Like, actually... 
I like can't find a spot to attack. Just let me attack somewhere. Wait, I can attack one of these places. Yeah, let me defend this place. Gosh. Oh, that was a struggle. Maybe it's just because I have no idea how to organize stuff, but so far, this is really rough. Not sure on my thoughts on everything. Okay. So, now we have the new skill point feature, which is awesome, so I'm happy about that. That's always good. So right here, I'm going to have a machine gunner because that's just going to chill out there. And I'm going to put Destructor Mark II right here in the middle. And let's just start the waves. I don't know what's going on there, but there's something happening with our, that little piece of road. So let's speed it up. Can I send waves sooner? Because that's what I want to do. Let me do it. So Destructor is just going to tear it up. Do I have any snipers? Nah. So I'm going to put some extra machine gunners down there and let's get a sports doctor going over here i don't know what he's gonna do but they're just gonna chill out they're just shocking themselves you know the huge nothing exciting so i'm gonna stim up destructor mark two and she's he captain zeta is gonna tear it up can i send these early send everything early get some extra victory points going and we're just going to town i'm gonna move this machine gunner up a little bit so I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of feel that this like black shading around the units is kind of taking away from the map. I'm kind of distorting my view a little bit, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I like to see all the art and everything. But then again, you know, we're working on it. You know, I just feel differently about certain things. Um, But yeah, it's new. I'm going to try to get used to it. I'm going to keep playing, you know. So far, it looks pretty good here. I'm probably going to... I just need to figure everything out, how everything works. Because I know I'm starting from a higher level. So, it's kind of distorted a little bit. Because everything's a lot different. It's kind of determined by your team's power. So, 265. We got a lot of bonuses there. We up to 269 little cups there. What not. Got 269 trophies. And, yeah. We got a new winner. We cleared it. Continue. And, yeah. So, that's 2.0. It's a work in progress. There's a lot going on. There's some things I like, some things I don't like. But, hey, first look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.